This old video is dedicated to our good old mountain brother, Jerry Marlowe. Back in the old days, back in the mountains, way back in the hills of Appalachia, everybody had to go to a little old country general store. And folks depended on them too, for just about everything when it comes to doing the trading. But to most folks, it was so much more than just a little store. Now back in the old days, all them stores and things, they was closed on Sunday. A lot of them was closed on Saturday. But the most reason for that was Sunday was the Lord's Day. Most everybody was at preaching back in. They rest. The folks would often take what they had grown, things like that in their gardens, and take it down there to them stores to trade for stuff like flour, cornmeal, lamp oil, candles, just all kind of things that they couldn't make themselves. Other folks, they'd go and get what they call a bill of groceries. You know, they'd go down there and they'd get a groceries list on a ticket, you know. And that way, you know, they'd pay their bill on payday or when they got their pension checks or what they call back in, the old timers check. But I remember them old stores well. Now, I see youngins, <laughs> we'd roam around, we'd collect old drink bottles, you know, take them, cash them in, to help the family out. You get usually about a nickel for them, sometimes three cents, something like that. A few places give a little bit more. But anyhow, like I said, folks do that to help with the family, or a lot of times we go around, cash them in just to just about to eat and maybe a cold drink or something while he's out playing. We'll never forget that. But to tons of folks, them old general stores meant so much more. I remember being a youngin' and going in them old stores. And I remember the parking lot being plum packed, boy. Now, even during the cold season of winter, Inside, folks weren't panic buying like they did today. No. Inside, they'd be a bunch of our elders sitting around an old pot-bellied stove. They'd be in there drinking coffee, reading the newspaper, jawing up a storm. They'd be sitting around laughing, cutting up, joking, carrying on. And usually folks take turns stoking up the fire. And then some be over in the corner playing checkers. To our elders, that old store sure was so much more than just an old store. It was a pillar of the community. A place to kindly gather up, have a good old time, visit, I'd always be so glad to see one another each and every day. Each time a body would walk in, and that little old bell above that door would ring. Lord, the laughs and jokes, and handshakes, pats on the back be all around. Sure was a mighty good time. And usually they'd always be a sort of a thin cloud of pipe smoke cigar smoke and things like that up in the top up there at the store. Kind of lingering about. But sometimes too, folks would have mighty hard times. Same day. Folks went through a lot of that back in. So it was also a place where a body could go talk about the problems 
and everybody that was there actually cared. Cause that's back during a time when folks liked one another, they loved one another, they cared for one another, and saw each other through some mighty hard times. Well, after somebody would come in, start, you know, kind of just explaining what was going on with them, why they was kind of in, down the dumps and blue and worried half to death. Well, that's when folks start putting their heads together, start talking about a way to help start spreading the word throughout the community and boy that they would boy I tell you what word would spread like wildfire across them old mountains and usually they would find a way as the old saying goes where there's a will there's a way but now they'd also gather up sit around and talk about recent events of the community Things that went on between folks, families, people. And back where I'm from here in Tennessee, back in the old days, the elected officials claimed to run the place. But back in the hills, that's where the elders was law. The elders, they run the community. When our elders said we was going to do something, by George, it got done. And it got done right then, and it got done without question. And in the summertime, back around them old little general stores, folks, folks would be sitting out on the porch, sitting around jawing. Oh, they'd be kicked back in the shade of the old roof old tin roofs, old chairs and things. Sitting out on the stoop, leaning against posts, whatever they find, talking, whittling, things like that. And you know, I don't recall time, as far as I reckon. I don't recall, I, I don't recollect a time that I ain't never seen an old general store that didn't have an old school bus seat or a bunch of old chairs, upside down buckets, old plastic milk crates or old wood milk crates for folks to sit around on, spread out all over on the porch. Well, oftentimes, they'd probably be a big old tree out there inside the yard or something or other. And, my lord, it weren't uncommon. Folks would be sitting around out there Kick back, leaned up again in, sat around jawing. Yeah, the old country general stores, to a lot of folks, was just a store. But to us old mountain folks, it sure was a whole 